Well, here at Toke, everything's big. Everything's big, everything's heavy. We work on mills, which is a coal mill to grind a, our coal where it'll burn in the boiler. There are many jobs related to the mills, but one of them is actually changing out the discharge valves. It's a tedious job. You know, it's you know, on top of, sitting on top of the mill, trying to work in close quarters. I'd hear horror stories about the bow mill rope and how heavy everything was. The valve itself probably weighs about uh, 2,400 pounds, so it's, it's heavy work. And there are four valves on top of each mill, and we used to have to walk each valve around the mill with uh, chain hoists. You'd have to lift it up and kind of walk it over and it takes a lot of rig and pick it up and you have to re-rig. And... You had to have six, eight come-alongs and literally uh, rig while the discharge valve was in mid-air to transfer it to another come-along to walk it over to where the hoist was to let it down. It used to take probably, I'm going to say, two to four hours just to move that valve around, you know, and get it off the mill. Of course, Orlando came out in there. He came up with the idea, him and Larry Clark. Uh, they were on top of the mill, and they're the ones that are basically struggling. Orlando and I was up there, and I told Orlando, man, there's got to be a better way than this. I told Larry, I said, man, the cart's got to work here, you know. A little later, he says, you know what? Maybe some sort of cart that we can set this on and roll it around. So we, Orlando and I went to Joe with it, and Joe's always been good about ideas, you know, and, and going with them. Gave it some thought, and he said, well, it might work. Joe showed it up later with a tape measure, and he's doing some measuring. Started building it, and uh, the more I looked at it, and I thought, man, we can do this. We can make it work. Two or three days later, uh, he called us into the shop of the boiler, and, and he showed us what he was doing. The end result was a pie slice shaped cart that's kind of tapered small on one end, but it's got five caster wheels under it, and they don't swivel. They're all in line where it, they're, they're turned at an angle that that thing just turns around in a circle. If you just keep turning it, it'll just turn in a circle. It's been called everything, but we just call it a discharge valve cart. Once we, uh, we uh, pulled it up there and uh, set it down and uh, got it bolted into place, it fit perfect. We clamped it around that center pipe and lowered that first discharge valve on there and it just rolled just right, right into place. And it started rolling so easy and just came around without touching anything. Um, you know, all of us were kind of, you know, like really excited about it. And now uh, it, they just raise the valve up, roll the cart under it, sit the valve down and roll the cart back into position to transfer it to the air hoist. Well, I'm gonna say now it takes probably, you can do all four valves in an hour and a half. You're probably saving maybe as much as a week. As much as a week. They started telling me of a bunch of the guys that were hurt, rotator cuffs, uh, shoulders, it is the, saving the injuries is the big thing. So that's already saving time and elbows and shoulders and stuff, you know. You gotta pick it up. But that's just two come alongs versus 20. These ideas we do on a daily basis, it's, we don't do it for the recognition. You know, we try to do things, improve on what we do here, make it safer and easier. Yeah, it was a lot easier. Uh, it was a great idea.